One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have a red wine. I don't know, it seems to rhyme. United just won nine fucking nil. The last time we did that was against Ipswich in 1995. I want you to let me know in the comments below who fucking scored in that game because I don't remember. We had Wan-Bissaka, Rashford, Bednarek with an own goal, Cavani, Martial with two, Tom McTominay, Bruno Fernandes. Hell, even Dan James scored. Who cares who scored tonight? We have just won nine nil. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but we won 9-0 in that game, baby. Let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. But obviously, the game was given to United on a plate in the 90th second because Southampton got a red card. But at that point, we were all suspect. After the last two games at United, had, we had Sheffield United, a disappointing defeat. I say disappointing defeat. It was a horrendous defeat. And a very disappointing draw against Arsenal. And this was the game where United had to make sure that, and I said it before the game, it was a game where United had to make sure that we didn't let those two games become a pattern and they became a blip. And then we went and won 9-0. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but we won 9-0. 9. 9-0. Nine. Nine and that, <laughs> that really is ridiculous. I'm going to run through the goal scorers again. wan -Bissaka. what a wonderful cross that was from Luke Shaw. Marcus Rashford. A fantastically close finish from him. Bednarek, unlucky mate, 3-0. Cavani, Shaw with the cross in again. Two assists from Shaw in the first half. Then Martial came on at half-time. And a man who has not not scored that many for United. He was on a hat-trick towards the last couple of minutes of the game. Fair play to him. Bruno Fernandes, McTominay just before with a very, very clean finish. And bear in mind, McTominay was a player who was ha nearly hacked down right in the... The first game, it really was a horrendous. That was definitely a red card in the second minute. I think Mike Dean got that absolutely spot on, given how bad a referee I think Mike Dean is. I have to give him credit for getting that decision correct. And then Dan James even popped up and scored. That's how mad the goal scoring was tonight. And just to see United, because it would have been extremely easy for United to shut up shop after 3-0, 2-0, just to say, look, we probably won the game at 2-3-0. Southampton have got 10 players. We don't need to do much else. But he took off Shaw at half-time. He took off... Who else did he take off at half-time? He brought on Cavani. He brought on Van der Beek. I think he... T I can't remember the second player he took off at half-time. Sorry. But I was surprised he didn't take off Rashford. I was surprised he didn't take off uh, Fernandez. Ultimately, Solskjaer made the right decisions tonight. And ultimately, United's goal difference went... We were like GameStop during that little Reddit surge that happened last week. Wow. That was beautifully entertaining to watch. And given that City and Liverpool are having their little resurgences at the moment, United have just won, not 1-0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I repeat, 9-0. Soak it in, people. The last time this happened, it was 19 95. United had only won two Premier League titles, three Premier League titles at that point. We've got 13 now. That's how long ago it was since we did that against Ipswich. Nine motherfucking nil. I'm... Yeah, you, you can't not be happy about it. Obviously, I've had a couple of glasses of wine, so I'm extremely happy about it. But... For the fact that United didn't just stop at two and three and four, which is maybe what we would have expected from United. We just kept going. We kept going and going and going. And that goal difference now that we've 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 gained from tonight, because let's be honest, if you're playing against a 10 men for 88 and a half minutes, you would be expected to win. So in that sense, you can't take too much enjoyment out of it. But to do it in the fashion that we've done it there is as much of an indication of the mentality of the club as, say, that game against Arsenal. Roy Keane was really, he slated the team, saying, look, if United really consider themselves title contenders against in this season, then they're going to turn this 0-0 against Arsenal into a win. We didn't. It was, it was a horrible, it was a boring 0-0 there. But in the same way, the way that we turned that opportunity against Southampton tonight into a 9-0, there's a reason that United have only done that once before. It's a, it doesn't matter what the situation is. To do nine 
And for the team to, even when you're three, four, five, six, seven, eight up, just to keep attacking, 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 it comes down to the coaching, it comes down to the management, it comes down to the mentality of the players and what they enjoy doing and what they're good at. And tonight we saw the absolute best of United. Obviously, we didn't see the weaknesses of United because we didn't have to concentrate on our defending so much. They had a goal disallowed. I would probably say that should not have been disallowed. That was not offside. That was a hand. I don't know what that was, but that was the worst of VAR. And, you know, you take what you want from VAR, but I'm going to have a quick swig of the old rear one. Because i tell you what, winning 9-0, it's thirsty work. It's really thirsty work. Not many people can do it, but United can. Obviously, United did it tonight. And there's only so many times where you can enjoy a situation like this. And, you know, it's going to come to the end of the season. City are going to have won the league. And then United fans, we're all going to be pissed off that City won the league. But right now, I'm going to enjoy and revel in the fact that United have just beaten Southampton at home 9-0. And I'm also going to, I'm going to pour some out for Ralph, Ralph who's... Ralph, I'm going to call him Ralph. I don't know his second name, the Southampton manager. I'm going to call him Ralph. But I'm going to pause him out for him because it's the second time within like 12, 18 months that he's been beaten 9-0. Last time he recovered in Southampton at one point during this season with top of the league. But United just won 9-0. And I'm going to enjoy every single second of it. This is a season of surprises, a season where United fans did not expect to be even anywhere near a title race. Liverpool fell off, City fell off, and United took advantage of it. We were top for a moment in time. Now we've won 9-0. It's a sort of, as I said, have we let that Sheffield and Arsenal game continue to tonight and let it go into a three-game streak? It's the, it, it's the beginning of a pattern. But tonight, we didn't just stop that blip. We emphatically smashed it the other way because we won 9-0. And hopefully that is something that can continue into the weekend against Everton. Let's find out against Ancelotti's team. I'm sure it might be a different game all entirely. But United took advantage of their opportunity tonight. And um, in football, you can only beat the team that's in front of you. And not only did we beat the team in front of us tonight, we spanked them. We 3 D'd them off the top rope. 9-0 for United. We've equaled our record there against Ipswich. Happy days. Who was your man in the match? I have no idea. I can't even remember who scored in that game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Until the weekend, and maybe a 10-0 against... No, it's not going to be 10-0 against Everton. But until the weekend against Everton, take it easy.